I'm Dylan Black. Our friends from Harmony House join us right now. We say hello to uh, Sandra Peterson, the fundraising and brand development manager of Harmony House. Hello. Hi. And we also say hi to uh, Nadia Nagoto, former resident of Harmony House and, a, and an amazing guest speaker as well. We'll get into that in moments. How are you? I'm um, great. Good. Good to have you here, <laughs> Sandra. You. For those who don't know about Harmony House, I know you've been on the show plenty of times. But just give us uh, what you're all about quickly. Yeah, so the, the quick and dirty is that we are Ottawa's only second stage shelter. We uh, work with women and children who are fleeing abuse. Um, second stage means that you have, uh, it's a transitional period between emergency services and finding independent living in the community. So you have your own apartment. Um, there's a lot of programs that we do to work with the women and children that stay with us to help them rebuild their lives and to live a life free of violence. Sounds like a pretty darn important place. It's pretty awesome, yep. Okay, you had an awesome event that took place as well in February. We did, yeah. We were uh, lucky to come on here and promote it before. Um, the event surpassed our expectations this year in terms of uh, funding that we, we received. And I think a big part of it was, was because we had Nadia uh, as our guest speaker to tell her story and really connect with our guests and say like why Harmony House is so important, um, where the money goes. So we were able to raise $20,000. Mm, yeah. Incredible. Good yeah. work. All right, Nadia, so you did speak. You do have yes. a story. You are a, uh, a former resident. Uh, what did you speak about? Um, I spoke about my experience uh, with violence, how I went from being a victim to a survivor mm -hmm. and how I did it and the people that played part in it, like Harmony House, for example, the support and the knowledge they gave me to get to where I am today. Mm -hmm. So violence you inspired free. some people there. <coughs> yes, I did. That. That's good. That's <laughs> great. You, you mentioned funding, Sandra. So uh, funding, obviously, something that's very important yes. and that there's been some good news as of late. Yeah. Well, actually, um, uh, Mayor Jim Watson just announced that he's allocating $15 million uh, in the draft budget to go towards affordable housing. Mm. Um, that's huge for anybody who works in the uh, shelter world. Um, basically, what that means is that the, the people and the women who are accessing our shelters uh, hopefully we'll have more options and better options available to access independent living and, and something affordable to leave the shelter, which also will mean that the shelter now has space for other women who need our services. So mm. it's a cyclical um, sort of a event and so we just don't have enough housing in Ottawa right now that's um, big enough or affordable enough for the, the people that are most vulnerable in our mm -hmm. city. So this is a this is huge news. So obviously then, uh, Nadia, the, the lack of affordable housing uh, affected things, you and your family, greatly. Yes, it did. Uh, back when, 2009, uh, leaving my former partner uh, for, you know, he, uh, abuse and four children. I was uh, literally had nowhere to go homeless, living in hotels, motels, uh, bed bugs like not being able to cook for my children um it was it was horrible mm -hmm. i mean until i got to harmony house mm -hmm. and things were starting to look up you feel more a sense of uh freedom a sense of um an identity even you feel like self-worth because being homeless with children you just it makes the whole experience even worse my i gosh. mean on top of the abuse, yeah. and then you have to deal with where am I going to lay my head, where am I going to go, how clean is it, how safe is it. Lots to deal with. So, lots. Okay, well, Sandra, uh, International Women's Day is coming, of mm -hmm. course, on Friday. Uh, yeah. Day before, you have an event happening. Yeah, lots of things happening in the city. Um, Harmony House, in particular, has partnered with some other shelters, including Cornerstone, The Well, St. Joe's, Minwashin, and we're basically um, hosting a day for the women who are currently accessing shelters, um, where they'll be some games and crafts and lots of food, some child minding, so just a day to celebrate women, uh, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. And, and it's a nice way for us to work together and to collaborate um, and share resources. I'm sorry, where is that taking place? Uh, so that's actually going to be at St. Joe's um, okay, on Saint March Joe's. the 7th. Yeah, and all of the shelters um, are directly connecting with the, the women there to let them know. Okay, and, and quickly, there's also something happening, a panel discussion in May? Absolutely. So uh, Harmony House and Cornerstone are partnering to put together um, a panel discussion. It's like a fundraising event where we discuss how affordable housing affects the people that are vulnerable in the city. So we're going to have specialists from different shelters as well as uh, in ha the housing world and sector, including maybe even a builder. Um, so you can check our Facebook uh, and website for information and mm -hmm. updates when we get all the details. And I know you're always looking for volunteers, you're yes. looking for donations. HarmonyHouseWS.com for more details on how you can help out. Big Absolutely. way. Uh, thank you very much, Sandra and Nadia, for being here today. Thanks for having us. Doing great thank things you in our community. We appreciate your time. Anytime. More daytime uh, here on Rogers TV.